Welcome back to Let's Play Apotheon, Burning Dog fans. We're here, in the middle of fucking nowhere, to uh, see if my theory was right, and we are now south of the Horse Islands. Yeah, no map. Shit. Well, I do have a plan B. And that's a good thing, because if uh, the key was dropped overboard here, I can't dive deep enough to get it. Vencer's Prodigy commented on the fact that uh, he's incredible at fighting, he can swim in full plate mail, and uh, now we see that he can pretty much breathe forever. Or he can either breathe underwater, or he can hold his breath for all eternity. So it's possible that Nicandrios is more than human. Uh, I don't know how I feel about his theory that the Hera we saw in the village of Dion was actually Hecate in disguise. Am I in the right area? I am. But first, I just want to see something. Up here. Urine. Don't try it. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna kill you. Oh god damn it. Going to regret that. You win. I'll huh. spill your guts. Oh now it's a home invasion. Everybody gets the stab. Oh. Bring it! I'll sacrifice your oil. Oh! Oh, I can't, because I'm in combat. That's what, that's why that symbol is there. It's not a uh, seal symbol, it's the you can't go here in combat logo. Oh, for fuck's sake. I was unaware you could do that on this ship. Since the uh, other part of the ore seemed to be non-interactive. I had to wait for him to fucking land for once. I was hoping that this spot would be another island, you see. So that the horse islands would be up in the upper left corner. No, I'm not. I'm going to kill you, and we all know it. Now you're dead. You don't have a shield. I've had enough! You're gonna want to move in this spot, thank you. You win. Oh. Oh, shit. But you were one of the ones who surrendered. Oh, I don't think Dora's supposed to do that. Hmm, other arrows. 
damage there. I appear to be wrong. Don't mind me. Well, that's interesting. You can lockpick a locked door even before you can go in. Knife there on the ground. Oh, now I did it. Shit. And there are tritons in the water. Fuck. Stop splashing around, you're scaring my fish away. Do they show up on the map? I don't know. A fresh catch. I smell your blood. That was a really nice throw. What? Shit. I'm just trying to figure out what to do. I mean, it says south of Temple Island, high seas, thunderstorms, rocks. And lo and behold, the, uh, the spot where I found the sunken ship is south of the Temple Island. Logically, the uh, the key would be here, since the thing says he, the guy dropped it south of the Horse Islands. That's so was your key. What do you know? You're not. What is that anyway? It doesn't look like an anchor. I don't think it's attached to a chain. I think it's there. Maybe it's for docking. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. But if I was an optional treasure key, where would I be? I would be as far down as you can go. First, let's look over here, because it's an out-of-the-way corner. Nice and obscure. Is it a thing where it doesn't show up unless I follow it exactly? I've seen that in a lot of video games. I just don't know if they're doing that in this one. Oh, you. Like, you know, I've seen games where you're meant to follow a... Like a quest line or a series of puzzles in order to figure out the location of a thing. And if you're like playing the game for the second time and you already know where the thing is. Then uh, if you go straight there before you do any of the puzzles. The game won't let you get the thing because you haven't, you know, done it properly. You know, I've seen games that do both. Ah, fuck. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a game out there that gives you an achievement for, uh... immediately collecting, like, a... you know, the, the whatever without going through the plot stuff to, do, to earn it. You know, sequence breaking or whatever. But I have definitely seen games where it's like, you know, you get to 
You're supposed to go in, like, a random-ass door in the middle of a huge city or whatever. And, uh... I've seen games where it w straight up wouldn't let you open the door until you, uh, reach the point in the game where someone tells you that it's this door and here's how to find the door. You know, in this game it would be the equivalent of, it's sealed. You cannot... Alright, fuck. Um... Oh, who am I kidding? The important things like that always have like, the shimmer over them. I absolutely would not miss it if it was here. Fuck. All right. Back to the drawing board. Back here again. Okay, so I'm going to cut out a bunch of stuff because uh, I was mostly just wasting time. I was trying to follow the uh, the path of the uh, Euphemia and didn't really find anything important. Well, except for this. Heavy raider activity south of port. Check. Oh. I'll spill your guts. Huh. Well, he's gone. You're going to regret that. Uh. Uh. I didn't kill them. I was in town anyway. Damn it. Right end. You win. You win. I've had enough. Hmm. Well, these are useful, but... Not what I had in mind. So finally, I'm gonna be honest, I just looked it up. I, no, I had no idea, so I looked it up. And I... actually feel a bit better about looking it up once I found out what the trick was, because I don't know that I ever would have thought of it. It is here. But, uh... It's... What well, the exact wording was, uh, find a fat fish that doesn't attack and kill it. Oh, I guess I'm never gonna get that, uh, milk of moly root. So I think it's that giant fucking fish that I took a fucking screenshot of! If a giant fi a fat fish off of the, uh... the far left. Easy come, easy go. God damn. What a hassle. Alright, I do feel kind of bad about this. So just in case it's not you... 
Son of a bitch! Euphemia cabin key added to inventory. Where are we even going? There's nowhere in this world that we can escape the ire of Zeus. And what good is gold in this life? All it will do is drag us to the bottom of the sea. Well, I can use it to, uh, improve my fighting skills and help defend mankind. Don't mind if I do. And stab you, and stab you, and stab you. Yeah, he did. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. No. It's been real, Seabiscuit. I suppose, for the sake of completion, I should check out the uh, other corner. I never even named this ship. I guess because I just stole it. wonder if it would be too arrogant of me to call it the Argo. Fine, let's call it the Argo 2. And it has carried me through many a voyage. It stood up to the punishment of Lord Poseidon himself. Ooh. I wonder what that's doing there. Not a bad idea. Get a Xyphos out. Pick up a fresh one on the way out. Couldn't tell if anything actually came out of that or not. God damn it, it was one of those guys. Nope. I knew there had to be more to it, because, uh... I just did a, a Google search for Apotheon Euphemia Cabin Key. Ah, there it is. And the thing that came up was uh, a PlayStation-themed Achievement Hunter guide. Uh, Treasure Hunter. Access the sunken rep of the Euphemia in the sea. I like that they capitalized that. Well, there's just certainly no Abzu. Want the wall of Ajax? So bad. Cool! Upgrade to Deep Helm, armor plus eight. Another trident, yes, yes, yes. Leaning in close. You know, all things considered, I do believe I prefer the, uh, the wolf helm. But this is pretty rad, too. Jickle it. Give me that. Come on, man. I threw the sword. Embarrassing. So I guess I collected it at some point. Wait, what? Huh. I guess I do have five. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to leave this thing at the bottom of the ocean. Or its splendor will never be seen again. This belongs in a museum!
tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to hightail it out of here. Nope. Not today. Uh, and I'm going to come back for that. If the Wall of Ajax deserves to be used. Wait, was Argo the dude or the ship? Or was it both? No, no, it had to be the ship, because they were called the Argonauts because they rode the Argo. I'm guessing nothing. Right? As a general rule, the majority of the ocean is nothing. Well, it's water, but you know. It's not very exciting. And one last fisherman. Stop splashing around, you're scaring my fish away. And just for completion's sake, down I go. Right? I don't know that I ever would have thought of killing a really big fish unless they'd actually mentioned it in the guide. Excuse me. What is that? Ah, yes, the discus. <laughs> See, I f thought the fat fish might look like this, so I wasn't certain it was the giant one. Okay, lightning fast. Here I am in the uh, Palace of Apollo, not at the bottom of the ocean. And there's a Hoplon shield. We'll have to be sacrificed to the depths. Back to Poseidon's realm. Why is that guy walking backwards? I don't think that's how that works. In fact, it's actually very inconvenient, because I wanted to do a thing right over here. Come on, come on. Okay, there's the teleporty thing that I was supposed to end up next to. I didn't even wake that guy. Oh shit. Oh, my everything hurts. My bones and organs. And whoosh. Actually, no, let's make this classy. Oh, it's fucked up again. Interesting. Okay, here we go. I gotta hurry. I'm actually in a rush today. So it's really bad that I end up having to do this. All those cuts and such. Oh, right. It's fucking dark down here. There you are. Sorry, Hoplon Shield. May you be recovered someday, perhaps by a triton. Oh, it's just the door.
280 over 280. Yeah, that's the main thing. That it's got a shitload of durability. All right. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Apotheon. When we get on to something that doesn't involve the oceans of Poseidon. I'll see you then, guys. Later. Stop splashing around. You're scaring my fish away. One more for good measure.